cold. Give me a cold. The red drink say cold. Give me a cold. Give me a cold. Water. 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 How do you guys feel about the, the Who Better Than Us Feed the Homeless movement? Hey man, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, we got our young men out here as part of champs. And like I say, the Who Better Than Us movement is a movement for all, you know, entities or, you know, groups or, you know, communities, churches. You know, we all come together to do something great like this, like we're doing with He's Able Productions. Uh, with the dog, uh, like I say, man, it's just a beautiful thing. You know, we, we believe in the three E's and, uh, you know, so that's one of the things that we're doing right here is exposing them, you know, exposing them to something like this here. That's good. Who, who do you have here standing with you? <laughs> a good friend of mine. This is my brother right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name's Harold Howard, man. We're just, again, we're just glad to be uh, here um, just to just help out in the community as much as we can. We're trying to reach beyond our walls and trying to do what we can as, as a community. Um, I like what the solution guy says here. You know, we talk about Jackson, but this is this is one of the solutions. Let's bring us bring us together. Let's figure out what we can do to, to end all this crime, end all with this hunger. Let's let's do it. And uh, that's what we that's why he, who better than us, but we're born to win too. So that's we, right. we're winning in the same time. How do you feel about helping the homeless? Um, how I feel about, I feel like I'm doing, I'm doing some good, like, uh, I feel like, I like helping people, by the way, too. I feel good, actually. Like, I actually feel like I did something better in my life, like I changed my life around, too. How do you feel about helping the homeless? Um, today we said the homeless, it felt good. Like, it felt like I was giving back more than receiving towards myself. And I like doing that. I like that feeling in my heart, then knowing that I did some good instead of wrong today. How do you feel about helping the homeless? Good. I feel good because my heart is, my heart feels good helping the homeless. Though, because I feel like I got a second chance. Like, I feel like I got a second chance. Because I feel like I got a second chance. I feel like I got a second chance. I feel like I got a second chance. I got a second chance. I feel like 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 I got a second Come, you know, one guy he just came from out of town, you know, and just he was happy to come out here and be amongst people in the community helping each other. He loved it. All right, all right. And I see you got that. Uh, who better than us, sir, man? Yes, sir. Tell, tell us about that. What well, about? who better than us is us, it's the community. I say who better than us is because so many people are pointing fingers at politicians, teachers, parents, everybody else. Well, we point the finger back at us and saying, who better than us to help our city? But, uh, I told him we come out of retirement. Cause see, I work for the public school, so I know how to talk to these kids. And talking to the kids is one thing that you change the mindset, you can change them. You give them a different outlook of life by going to different places. Like we already got a, a tour set up from Malico Studio. This young man went in there with me. He eyes went like. <laughs> I was going to the boss's office. Yeah, yeah, big man. And I was told, I was told all I got to do, all right, all I got to do is make a phone call and uh, the tour is set up. So we're going to get with, gonna get with the, we're going to get with the uh, Perkins Center kids. They got a little camp starting Monday at the Perkins Center. So we're going to get with their kid, probably take about 30 some kids over there where they can go up in there. And I go like, even though, even though they don't know nothing about the blues, but they'll realize this is well. TLC, but they think TLC recorded that, but TLC didn't record that. They own the studio that TLC recorded that in Atlanta. But when you walk up in there, and the eyes gonna light up. Cause then the time old cat like eyes light up like, I gotta take pictures of this.
entrepreneur. This is a momentous occasion as we celebrate Jackie's arrival, right, to Major League Baseball 75 years ago. But it also came at an expense, right? It came at the expense of Negro Leagues beginning to dismantle because all the talent was siphoned, right, to play Major League Baseball. So while it was a great opportunity, it took away the ecosystem that was created for African Americans down south when we had the Negro Leagues. And eventually, we're now trying to really find a way to increase that access to African Americans in baseball. Your is on now.